3D printing technology has been around for a while, but at the VA, printing an actual model of a patient's organ will help improve surgeries and healthcare for vets. Dr. Beth Ripley is the VHA 3D Printing Network in Initiative Enterprise Lead. Dr. Ripley, welcome to the program. Thank you, thanks for having me. So spell out the benefits of 3D printing in the healthcare field and particularly how you're using it at the VA. So 3D printing is really uh, a very incredible technology that puts the power of creation into healthcare providers' hands and the veterans as well. So it's a technology that allows you to fabricate small batch products at the point of care, which means in the hospital. So this means we can do things like make a special brace, a special prosthetic, a special assistive technology device for a veteran, we can make specialized hearing aids for veterans, and we can even take a veteran's own anatomy, let's say their heart, and translate it from two-dimensional imaging into a three-dimensional model that the patient and the surgeon can hold in their hands, look at, and decide exactly what the best course of action is for treatment. So really, it's, it's a way of personalizing care for our veterans. How did you get this idea to take a patient's MRIs or x-rays and print a 3D model from it? You know, this all started uh, in a dark room, actually. So I'm a radiologist, um, and radiologists are the physicians that are um, tasked with looking at all of the imaging that patients get and trying to take all of those thousands of images and describe it in a few words. And what we realized is it, it can be really hard to do that. And oftentimes the surgeon comes down to that dark room to look at those images with you a couple times. And you realize, you know, you can say a lot with words, but they say a picture is worth a thousand words and a model is worth even more. So instead of us looking and then translating and putting into words and then, you know, sending it off in a report, being able to actually take that object, um, put it into three dimensional space and hand it to the surgeon just really improves the amount of communication that we can get from it. So it's sort of a no-brainer in that way. So where are we in the ability to print actual organs that can be used as a transplant? That is a great question. So um, we are not there yet, but we are getting there. And in fact, in VA, we have a, a special project, we call it VA Biobone, we are, where we are working actively to understand and create uh, a 3D printed living bone. And so this would be the first use cases for veterans that have um, chronic infections or tumors of the jaw, the mandible, um, where a piece of the bone needs to be removed. Right now you have to do a pretty long surgery to take bone from somewhere else in the body. What we want to do is 3D print that bone uh, de novo. And so we're in early studies. We actually just had a paper published on this and we're hoping to get this into the clinic in the next three to five years. You know, there had been issues of getting enough PPE during the height of the pandemic. And you were asked if you could start printing masks. What was your reaction? <laughs> At first it was, it was, I looked like this, right? What, what do you mean masks? Um, so this was really early on um, and you know, you, you, the disbelief or, or the questioning goes away pretty darn fast in, in this field. So, you know, you, you take about 15 minutes to think, oh, really? And then you say, okay, let's get down to business. And so, you know, we got down to business with 3D printing a mask um, and turned it from the first question to an actual um, mask that could be used for surgical level uh, interactions in 10 days. So it was quite a feat. You know, there's a lot of innovation happening in this field in the private sector. So what are the benefits of this kind of innovation work happening in the government as opposed to the private sector? It's a fantastic question. And the answer is both are needed and even better is when we work together. So in the case of the pandemic, we pulled together uh, multiple government agencies, FDA, NIH, um, and of course, VHA, but also with uh, Partner America Makes and multiple uh, partners out in the private sector so that we can bring the best of both worlds together. And we think that when government can work side by side with the private sector, again, we can accelerate things. We each have our own um, understanding and, and benefits that we bring to the table. But when we are together, uh, we really can accelerate that, not only for veterans, but then for the entire American public. 
What are the benefits that, are, that the government brings to the table? There are a few things that are really important that the government and specifically VHA brings to the table. We are the largest healthcare organization within the United States. And just by our sheer number, we have so much talent, um, so much you know, energy and so much experience that we can really bring to bear when we're thinking about how to make new products. We also have in VHA and in many of our government uh, sister organizations, research and development embedded within the fabric of the organization as well. So having the physicians, the patients, the research, the development and the innovations all under one roof um, really is, is that, that special, um, special sauce that the, the government brings to bear in innovating for products. Well, what's next? Where do you see this technology, this field going? So we're really interested now in understanding what the benefits are of bringing many, many manufacturing into the hospital walls. Um, and we really want to explore what happens, what do we unlock when we bring that into the hospital and give our patients and our frontline providers access to that. And so what you're gonna see in VA over the next several years is us trying to bring that technology to every veteran, um, every VA medical center, whether it's actually in that physical medical center or whether we've digitally connected it to a nearby site. And I think you're gonna see just a groundswell of, of new innovative products coming out of VHA as a result of that. All right, well, Dr. Ripley, so nice to talk to you. Thank you so much for being on the program. Yeah, absolutely, thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future Government Matters interviews.